What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. We in that game? Mm hmm. That's yeah. right. Yep, Making yep. it beautiful. Yeah, they have these little like clearance stickers on them, and I'm taking those off. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Those came from the same people that had all those controllers. From their pallets. I got one of each of these back to film for trades, but we don't need all the all the duplicate copies. This is true. I also don't know why Ariel bought all the sports games. I mean, they are like this year. Yeah, but still. <laughs> They're probably not gonna sell. We don't have much in our PS5 set. Yeah, but we're going to lose money on them because they won't sell for like four months and then they're going to be a quarter of the price. Well, what if one of the teams do like really, really well and then like the person on the cover like blows up and then it's super expensive? Unless that guy starts <laughs> dating Taylor Swift, no one's going to care. <laughs> true, true. Hey, Ryan. Yo. I don't know Kyle was trading in his PS3. Oh, yeah. We've had this one for a little while now. I was just using it to test uh, controllers. Yeah. Why is he getting rid of it? So why did he get rid of it? Kyle's? It's clearly Look Kyle's. It. it has to be. That couldn't possibly be anyone else's. That's nope. not true. It is true. It very much could be the person that traded it in. Yeah, so his name was Kyle. Oh, definitely Kyle. See? Yeah. Yeah. See? Jess knows. Yeah. See, why would Kyle trade it in, though? Uh, because he's going to keep it. He's got a money. PS5. He needs V-Bucks. He needed the money for V-Bucks. Yeah. yeah. Expansion. That's the only money you need. Jess. Yes. We've been unexpectedly busy today. Very busy. I like it. It's a rainy day and everyone's coming in. It's nice and rainy out. Yeah. It's very rainy actually. Mm -hmm. Let me show you guys. But it's good to have a busy day because that means good sales. Yes. Which means we can buy more things for the new store. Heck and we're looking at these new cabinets. Oh, they're nice. I really wish that I had found these before we ordered glass cases already because I could have replaced some of the glass cases with these new cabinets. And they are super cool. I'll have Jesse put a picture up here on the screen of what they look like, but these are specifically made for trading cards. And they would also work perfect for Game Boy games, DS games, anything handheld would perfectly fit. Genesis games would probably fit in there very well also. Um, obviously the big cabinets that we have work really well for video games in general, but our handheld cabinet, if we had a couple of those instead of one of the glass cases, I think that would be awesome. And obviously we sell Pokemon cards, so I want them for that too. But the problem is they are manufactured and shipped from Japan, and there's only one place that sells them the place that is making them. And they are extremely expensive. I contacted them to get a shipping quote for more than two because they only will show you the shipping price for up to two of them on their website. Once I added a third one to the cart, it's like there's no shipping available. So it's like 1800 bucks just for shipping for three of them. And they're almost $1,400 a piece. And I was looking at hopefully getting like four or five of them. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to contact a manufacturing place in China and see if we can get our own custom ones made because that'll probably be a lot cheaper than getting these ones. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll let you guys let you guys know if we have any updates on that and it's probably not going to be anything that happens right away. But if we can't do that, I do want to get some of these ones eventually because they look super super cool. So many controllers, Ariel. Yeah. I'm in control, baby. Controller, I hardly know her. Thank you. So, the dudes that brought these in, they've been bringing stuff in for a while. They have a business where they buy, like, like return pallets and stuff like that. So, yes. I'm um, assuming these got tested. Yes, Ryan tested all of them. So. Everybody say thank you, Ryan. <gasps> thank you, Ryan. Yeah, no problem. Say it in the comments. So they have, what do you say, like 37 more that they're going to be bringing in? Yeah, a bunch of different colors. Um, so that's exciting. Yeah. I really like the uh, colors on Xbox controllers, I think. Yeah, these are they're pretty cool looking. They're not my favorite controllers, but they are my favorite, like, style. If that, you know, the 
Yeah, like the different colors and stuff. Yeah, and then we that. we have like that one, <laughs> which is like a crazy color combination. Yeah. But they do look pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then they said they have like just duplicates of all these colors, basically like mostly black and white, but like a couple each of, of the other ones. So this will be nice because when we reopen our new spot, I was planning on making a big reorder for controllers anyway. Ooh. But maybe we don't have to put Xbox ones on there now. Yeah. Because we will have like 50 controllers. We are in control. <laughs> and we only have Pikmin candies out here left. We gotta restock those Zelda ones. Oh, where are they? They're in the back somewhere. Oh. They're in the closet. Oh. Jess was the one who had the last one. I, I thought those were for us. I There's thought... like five boxes, Ryan. There was. That's it for today. Sorry we didn't film too much, but it was actually surprisingly busy for a Monday, which I'm not complaining about. So, see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Good morning! Good morning! It's the next day! Yay! Yay! Colton's not supposed to be here. It's my day off, but I got this in the mail. I wanted to open it on on video. So here we go. Look at that. Always thinking about the content. Except for that one time I went to PAX. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't film anything. Oh, oh, scary. Almost stabbed myself. So a new game came out today. No way. Oh. <laughs> Pokemon Legends ZA. Man, I wish. No, it's... Ooh. Oh, nice. South Park Snow Day! Oh, I, I realized I got the PS5 version. I thought I got the Switch version. But that's okay. It's limited out of 5,000. Whoa! So, of course, has the game. <gasps> Physical copy. Physical oh, copy. Hey, Physical! Yeah. This is a new thing for me. <laughs> um, also comes with some... Other little tarot cards. So that's Edgar Allan Poe. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> and there's Cthulhu. King of Tentacles. And then there's the, I forget his name, but he's one of the goth kids. <laughs> and then there's the other goth kid. <laughs> and then there's Henrietta and uh, Bradley Biggle, also known as Mintberry Crunch. Uh, this kind of looks like Scott Tennerman to me, but I don't know. Yeah, that's Scott Tennerman. And then there's the, the leader of the goth kids. I don't remember <laughs> any of their names right now. But these are a thing in the game. They're like upgrade cards. So they like included them in the in the collector's edition. Also comes with a download code for the soundtrack. Show the code. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is the season pass. Excuse me. This is the soundtrack and it's a physical CD. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Now it's damaged on the ground. Yay! It also comes with a little Cartman hat. I'm just gonna put that on. Okay. Cause it's for me. And now there's two things in here. Get to the good stuff. This is the good stuff. Snow globe. Oh. I don't know if you want to blur that out, uh, cause it, it's not really appropriate, but that's okay. That's South Park for you. It's South Park. <laughs> My dad used to play when I was a kid. <laughs> Okay, this is actually really, really nice. I thought it was going to be a little cheap one, oh, but it's actually like hefty. Oh, I like the base. Oh. There's so much freaking so snow in there. There's so, <laughs> so much freaking <laughs> snow in here. It almost completely <laughs> covers him. Just peeking out. Oh my gosh. All you can see is this little head. Carpet? Yeah. Oh. Carpet? He's so cute. Shake it up. Yeah. I've always said the problem with oh. snow gloves is there's never enough snow. Never <laughs> enough snow. Well, now that one's, you can't say that about that one because there's too much snow. <laughs> and the final item, which is probably the most absurd, is the talking toilet paper holder. <laughs> Oh, I bet. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, okay. Little feet. So, you like put batteries in here, 
and then you turn it on, and then when you take toilet paper off, he yells obscenities at you. <laughs> oh, uh, so, we're gonna have to find some batteries here. Are you gonna attach that to the wall in your bathroom? No, my wife won't let me. I told her about it, and she said no. So, it's gonna go on, like, attached to my shelf next to, like, on camera for, like, on stream or nice. something. So, I can just, like, people are like, what is that? And I just go, Phew! and then he screams. What would that, what would that sound like? What? What would Cartman screaming sound like? Uh, he'd be like, <laughs> Testing the controllers, Ryan. <laughs> the mini controllers. This is, this is just the beginning of it. There's just a couple here. Yeah, that's three layers. And two and three. And there might be a couple more in this box. Yeah, just a couple. <laughs> They go, they go all the way down, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what he said. What do they do? Okay. So they go all the way down. You, didn't, no, you gotta say it. <laughs> go all the way down. They all float down here, right? Oh. <laughs> While Ryan continues to test controllers, <laughs> we were just, the store's finally empty. First time since we opened. It's been very busy for a Tuesday, but we were just talking. I was telling them about the the little display shelf things I got for the vinyl at the new store. And are we sponsored by Dr Pepper yet? No. What? Never. I will turn down a sponsorship for Dr Pepper, and I will say, I will say, hey, nice. I want an actual Coke sponsorship. I'm not taking the B tier Dr Pepper ad. B tier. Yeah. He's not even a real doctor. He's a fraud. He's a frog. Uh, he's a doctor of flavors. No, he's not. He's got so many. There's 23 in there. So many that it tastes like medicine. I don't even no. know uh, which 23 flavors. What were we talking about? We were talking about someone else. I actually like Dr. Pepper. I'm just being a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> but I do prefer Coke. But we're talking about the new store. And we're getting excited because it's going to be awesome to set everything up. And we can't wait. And it feels like it's still, it's so close, but it's still so far away. And it just makes me like look around and just like, I'm not going to miss that floor. I'm not going to miss the one area over there where a little bit of the floor like peeks up. Sometimes. Oh yeah. Right here, right in front of the glass case. Yeah, right, there. <laughs> right here where you can like step on it and try to push it down, but it doesn't work and it's annoying. I'm not going to miss that. Um, I'm also not going to miss that. <laughs> I am not going to miss the ceilings that, even though they're black, they're a little bit like stained-ish. I prefer the white ceilings like we have on that side. Yeah. And I always have because when we just had this side and I would film, you could see all the little hairs because oh. it's a black background. Oh, yeah. And so once we got the other side, I was like, I'm only filming over there now. <laughs> <laughs> but the um, new store has the white ceiling tiles. So it'll be nice and bright, and it's just gonna be so awesome. Yeah. What else am I not gonna? I'm not gonna miss this. The small leg room for the for the counters. Yeah, because you said we're gonna have more leg room. Oh, we are gonna have the most leg room. I saw the table. But I like the store being dark like my soul. <laughs> hey. We got our shipment today with South Park Snow Day. We got the PlayStation. Xbox and Switch copies. We had we had one uh, Switch copy pre-ordered, and then I got one as well. So we have four copies of Switch left, and we have two copies of Xbox and two copies of PS5, and we got a restock on Princess Peach. We got ten more. Snow day, dude. Because we sold out of our last ten Princess Peaches very very quickly. Very quickly. And one person bought a handful of them, <laughs> which was David from Vault. We let David do whatever he wants here. He's like, Abby is telling me that he's like, oh, you, are these the last ones? Because they were sitting up here and there was like two or three. And she's like, yeah. And he's like, can I? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's money. So I think uh, one person had this on their wish list, which you called, right? I did. And then another person asked about it earlier today. And then like they left. And 10 minutes later, the delivery guy came in with the package and we got them. <laughs> And then I called the wrong person, and then she emailed us, and that was really nice of her. Thank she you. emailed you and was like, don't ever talk to me or my son again. And then I uh, I gave her 
just fifty dollars and she likes me again from your pocket right not the the register yeah yeah freaking better be I can't remember if, if I mentioned something in our clips uh, that we filmed yesterday, but we officially hit Twitch Partner. So uh, they took a very long time to review the application, but they did accept it. So the Sick Cooper Twitch is officially, officially a Twitch Partner now, which is pretty cool. So now that that has been achieved, we are going to start doing our live streams on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. They do allow that now, which is very, very cool. The only reason I haven't been doing that up to this point is because I was trying to filter as many people over to Twitch as possible so we could get the 75 average viewers that we need to hit partner. So we've done that now. And uh, we normally stream Monday and Wednesday here at the store. This will change in the future once we move. We'll probably be streaming a little bit more at the new spot. Um, and we skipped the last couple Mondays just because we've been busy. Uh, but Wednesday is a pretty easy day to stream from the store because we have the most people here and it's one of the slower days. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, either follow on Twitch with the link in the description down below or just make sure you have notifications turned on here on YouTube and you should get an email when we go live. So come hang out, have some fun. We answer a lot of questions, talk about the new store, do a little bit of work and you can see customers buying stuff and all that. It's a lot of fun. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you check it out. I mean, sometimes you die, but it, you know, that's what the pros do. Uh, uh, see, you just... Oh my God, you're gonna die. Oh yeah. Oh, you are so lucky. Lucky? That has nothing to do with it. It's all skill, baby. <laughs> You're pretty good. <laughs> Look at this little thing. This looks way cooler than an actual Atari. It actually is way cooler than <laughs> It's made by my arcade, it's not the flashback. Oh. I'm trying to show the box. <laughs> it has like RGB lights and everything. It's True for, gamer. for real gamers. For real gamers. And it's actually lights. It's not like a sticker. It actually changes. Good. Isn't that cool? I actually kind of like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I want to have... I don't want to carry like a million flashbacks and stuff, but yeah. I, I do want to have more of like the plug and plays and the little miniature arcades and stuff like that. Yeah. I really want to have a full glass case at the new store just with all this kind of stuff. Like okay. Tiger Electronics, little mini arcades... You know, plug in plays, all that kind of stuff. Hmm, that would be cool. I would like that. They've actually been selling really well for us. Like all the plug in plays and stuff. Yeah. We've always carried like a couple here and there, but yeah. we'd turn away a lot of them and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I would just pass on them at Goodwill. But I mean, we've, I don't know, we've put out how many do you think in like the last couple months? Like we've put out probably like 20. Yeah. Like between be. the plug in plays and the mini arcades. And yeah. we only have like maybe six in stock right now. <laughs> yeah. I think so. They've all been selling. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty cool. I love it. Cool. I would say though that this is a pretty good sampling of like some of the new stuff we'll have. Okay. Because we have the cards, we have the games, the video games, and then we have like toys, music stuff. Pretty cool. Okay. Thanks, Cooper. I'll put that in the video. Yeah, you better. Hey guys, trade time. Look at it. Look at it. All right, that's the end of trades. I'm just kidding. Um, let's start over here. So, like you heard Cooper say, if uh, if he kept it in, um, this is a good smattering of the sort of things that we want to start carrying when we expand the store. Um, we've got, you know, uh, we've got more of these plug and plays in than we ever have before. We want to start doing even more of these. We're taking in more CDs. This is um, the Kingdom Hearts 3 2.8 chained and cross, uh, or unchained and cross soundtrack. This is actually Colton's old uh, soundtrack. This is the um, Melody of Magic uh, pre-order soundtrack bonus. Um, it's in this cute little case here. You've got Kyrie on there. And then this is the, um, the entire soundtrack for Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 remix. Um, let's see. Oh, and then, um, shout out to the person who ordered a Godzilla figure and didn't get it. <laughs> um, we didn't have any in the store. 
but uh, Cooper managed to find this one at Goodwill. So if you want it, you can order it. We're sorry we didn't have it in the in the first place. <laughs> um, oh my gosh! And then those look cool. This looks like it like might be a Castlevania game. It's probably Metroidvania. I wonder if it is drawing uh, similarities on purpose like that. We got these amiibo in just in time for the to, for the trade clip. <laughs> this chunky guy. I don't know what his name is. I just know it's not. I, I mean, I don't think it's Optimus. This guy who kind of looks like Adam Conover of uh, Adam Ruins Everything. More of the same amiibos. Power Stone. Michelangelo. Um, oh, I guess I should probably pan over these guys too, huh? We want to carry more DVDs, of course. Um, you all have seen our usual DVD section. It's fine. Um, as you know, we're still only doing anime and horror, but that might change uh, when we do our blockbuster area. This? Oh, I remember this. <laughs> I never owned one, but uh, my school had it. <laughs> Brain bash. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank as to what it's like, how it's played, but I know how to play Simon. Aw, Deku and the villager. They're doing like, I don't know, not the same thing, but basically. Um, we've got the Mario RC car where he's in a little bumblebee. It's so cute. We've got more turtles right here. That's uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Edgar Allan Poe. All right. And then look at all these cards. We want to definitely expand our card repertoire. Um... You know, starting with Pokemon, but kind of expanding from there. Um, I don't know if we want to do like magic cards or Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I kind of feel like, um, you know, maybe that's a little too... Well, I mean, I don't know, because Yu-Gi-Oh does still seem to be popular, uh, at least in our area. And then magic is magic. <laughs> magic is always going to have at least one player. One collector. Ooh. Sword of the Necromancer. This looks like a rhythm game almost. No, but it's definitely. Hm. I guess when I think Necromancer, I think Necrodancer, which is not the same. Some of these games. I've heard really good things about Rust, and I've wanted to try playing it, especially with everybody in the store. But, you know, there's just so many games to play in so little time. And then Colton also traded in these guys. These both have Gwent decks in them, which is a game that you can play inside of The Witcher. I've never played The Witcher, but I would like to because look at him. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Um, but yeah, uh, no idea if the DLC works in here. These actually also used to be owned by Abby. So if you want something that Abby owned and then Colton owned and then is now here, you can order both of these and then you can have pieces of Colton and Abby with you. Does that sound appealing? I don't know. Um, well, yeah, I think I showed everything here. Um, and I think I commented on everything interesting that needed commented on. Um, oh, okay. One more cool Kingdom Hearts thing for the, all of you Kingdom Hearts heads. This is a playbook for the World of Tres Orchestra that, uh, I don't know if they traveled worldwide. I know there's a worldwide version of this booklet, um, but there's some really pretty art in there and it's got pictures of merch and stuff. Oh, and then this cool Halo two terabyte uh, external hard drive. I'll let you take a look at that. Cool. Okay, now I'll let you go. All right, I love you, bye. And then I, when I moved from that to like, a, like a, like an iPhone, I hated it. Mm. Uh, now I love it. It's like his keyboard. Oh.
are. <laughs> All right, guys, question of the day. So today it's going to be, what is one of your earliest favorite cartoons or shows that you watched as a kid? Well, like one of the earliest ones you can remember. Um, I know that I watched Sesame Street and Barney and stuff, but my earliest one that really sticks out is Power Rangers. Um, the like early 90s Power Rangers. And I watched that a ton. And I'm going to tell the story really, really quick. But I would, I would save up pennies. My grandma would take me to Toys R Us in Portland because uh, there's no sales tax. And I would buy the action figures with pennies, like a Ziploc bag full of pennies. And I would play with the figures and stuff. But I would also cut out the little pictures of the different figures in the series that are on the back of the packaging, like little cardboard ones. I would cut those out and I would also play with those. So I had a ton of them because they're on all the packaging. So I had like 10 of every character. All right, so one of my favorite childhood shows growing up um, was Muppet Babies. Um, <laughs> and one of the reasons why I actually really liked it is uh, my brother had a Muppet Babies keyboard um, and I played on that thing a ton. And I just loved that show. I loved the theme song and I loved the little piano and it had like Kermit and stuff on the piano. And I just, <laughs> I just thought it was so awesome. It's very, very nostalgic. One of my early childhood cartoons was uh, Gummy Bears. Disney's Gummy Bears. Um, always wanted to try that gummy bear juice. I wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> so, other than like Sesame Street, which is obvious, um, me and my sister ended up with a bunch of VHSs of uh, Sky Dancers. Oh, and shit. Princess Guinevere and the Jewel Riders. Heck yeah! <laughs> and Princess Guinevere and the Jewel Riders was known as Princess Starla and the Jewel Riders in like Canada, and I didn't know that until I started doing nostalgia googling like five years ago. Um, but I know both of those theme songs by heart. I could sing them for you right now. I won't to spare you. Uh, <laughs> but those are the two that are like the top when I was younger. I can sing the Muppet Babies theme song. Oh, and the Winnie the Pooh uh, cartoon, which was the first cartoon I remember sobbing at because Rabbit's, Rabbit's little bird, Kelsey, was flying for the winter and Muppet flew away. And, and then she, Rabbit was so sad and I didn't understand loss until I watched that episode and I was like, oh, and I just remember lying on the couch crying. <laughs> but then she came back, so he was happy again. You just close your eyes and make believe. Oh.